Warning, attempt this fix at your own risk. I take no accountability if your GoPro was sort of working and then it stops working after you try this. If you can send your GoPro in to GoPro and have it replaced, that's the best option. This is only if you've tried that, they won't replace it, or you just need to use your GoPro right away. This is one option you can try to fix a water-damaged, corroded GoPro. Hey, what's up? It's Rob Gordon, the wingman here with Allie. You might remember Veronica from one of my old videos. Unfortunately, she has passed on to the other side. Rest in peace. She was a good cat, but Allie's still holding on strong. I'm here to do a quick video on how to fix your GoPro if you get water in it and it seems like you've completely killed it. I already sent one GoPro 9 back because this happened. It happens when you open up the, the GoPro in the middle of the session and then you get a little bit of like a water drop in there and you don't realize it. Then you go back out with another battery and then it causes the corrosion and battery dies, the camera dies, and then you come in there's like a green battery acid on the camera terminals, battery terminals, and then also on the, the battery terminal. Uh, these aren't my pictures, but very similar to what mine looked like after getting a little salt water in there. I don't know if these are salvageable, but very similar to what mine looked like. You can see if your GoPro still works by letting it dry out completely, then plug it straight into the power adapter and see if it turns on. So it seems like the, the camera is completely dead because you just think that's what happened. And I sent the first one back, they replaced it. And then I just bought a GoPro 11 because this happened again and they have a really good deal on GoPro 11s right now. It's like $350 and that includes a year subscription and like two camera replacements. I mean, I, I had to jump on that and just to try out the 11. It's got like a little bigger sensor. Maybe I'll do a review on that. In the meantime, I plugged in the GoPro and it worked just by going straight to, you know, the power cord. So then I looked up some videos on how to get rid of the battery corrosion and I was able to get my GoPro 9 working again. I'll just briefly go over what I did to fix it and maybe it'll work for you. If your GoPro already is dead and you're thinking about sending it back or buying a new one, you got nothing to lose by trying to fix it like this. So anyway, I'll show you what I did. And here's just a quick list of things you might need for this fix. Q-tips, baking soda, vinegar, alcohol needle or some other little small object that you can get in and do some digging with toothbrush hair dryer maybe some paper towels okay it's going to be a little hard for me to do because i don't feel like going and grabbing a tripod so i'm just holding on to the camera with one hand and i'm showing you everything else with the other hand so you have your battery or whatever you want to clean let's just assume we're cleaning the battery right now you're going to take a little pinch of the baking soda you're just going to sprinkle it on top of wherever you want to clean. That's probably too much. I'll just knock some of that off. Then you're going to take the distilled vinegar, pour it onto one of your Q-tips a little bit, and then just drip it on top of the baking soda. And it will start to fizz. I don't know if you can see that. It should start to fizz a little bit. There's a little reaction between the baking soda and whatnot. Let me get a little more. Probably have a little too much baking soda there for how much vinegar I'm using. But you can do that. Let it start to work. Then after that gets going for a little while, I took the toothbrush and just kind of scrubbed inside there. I did that whole process about three times. There we go, so you can see a really good fizz there. So get a nice fizz, and then just clean it some more. Yeah, so like I said, I did that about three times. Then take your alcohol, pour it onto one of your Q-tips, and then just use that to sort of clean everything up. And you can also use the clean side to dry it. Okay, then take a look and see how it's looking. And then that's when you take your needle or you know whatever you have, like safety pin or something, and then just use that to very you know delicately get rid of any chunks or any green parts remaining. Right, just kind of 
work on it, work on it. Then get your clean toothbrush again, scrub it, scrub it, and go back and forth. And then you might need to do some more baking soda and vinegar or whatever. You don't want to get like too, too wet, you know, because you don't want it to get like inside the battery or anything. You want to stay like mostly on the surface. But yeah, after you do that, it gets cleaned up pretty good. And then you might, like I said, you might need to do this one. This one's a little bit harder to work with in ways because it's kind of far in there. So it's kind of hard to get some of the gunk out. So maybe use less gunk in there. After doing that, this is the other battery I have. I was able to get my GoPro working again. So pretty awesome. Because I, I thought it was completely dead. I use the Max Lens mod whenever I'm doing the mounted riding. I use a GoPro Hero 10 lens because it has better waterproofing on it when I'm doing other kinds of footage. I really recommend these Enduro batteries, especially if you're shooting in cold or hot weather. I don't notice that they, they, they last a little bit longer, but it's more that they don't overheat or shut the camera down if you're going for a long time. So these are an absolute must. Highly recommend these. Anyway, so yeah, maybe I'll do a video on the GoPro 11 when I get it. I think it's supposed to come today, but now it seems like I'll have two cameras, so pretty cool. Right after I finished filming this video, the camera stopped working again. I think I left the vinegar on too long and it was like too wet and I think it started corroding again. So I let it dry out. Then I did the whole process. I cleaned the whole thing again and this time I tried to be more careful about not letting it stay wet. I tried to get it as dry as possible right afterward. You could even use like a hair dryer or something. And then I let the camera and the batteries dry out for like two days. And then when I put them back in after that, I was able to get the camera working again. So just be aware of that. If, if you do this, try not to use too much product. Make sure it's completely dry before you put it back together. And, and don't leave it wet to where it might start corroding again. I'm also never going to put these batteries into my new GoPro 11. Like this will just be dedicated to the GoPro 9. Hopefully this helps. Do it at your own risk.